Alexis and Alexandra, you obviously look alike. Your names are really similar, and you joke in your new book, By Invitation Only, that people often get you confused, sort of meld your names together, but you're really proud of your differences. So I was hoping we could get started. If you could tell me a little bit about your strengths and your differences and what you bring to guilt. Sure. Well, it is very much like discovering your, your latter-day stunt double, given how much we can stand in for one another. But the truth is we are incredibly different. And those differences have made us a much stronger team and also allowed us to see who we need to build around us as part of the founding team. Alexandra is incredibly organized, focused on getting things done. I tend to be a lot more bigger picture, less focused on details. And so in m many ways, we um, very much complement each other. But specifically, what do you think your, your biggest commitments to the company have been? As, especially, you know, you've got this counterpoint. Where are those differences? Well, both Alexis and I have put our heart and soul into Guilt Group from uh, the very early days. Um, from my perspective, I was very focused always on convincing the best brands to work with the group and to trust us with their most prized possessions, which was their, their merchandise. It's interesting. I mean, neither of you guys were babies when you started this company, although you're often talked about like these wonderkings, but both with your MBAs and you with your experience in retail online and with fashion, um, how do you think you've grown over the course of the company? I was much uh, more focused on operating in kind of startup-like environments, very unstructured environments. So I think personally I've grown a lot in understanding how to manage teams or companies at different sizes and different scales. So today when we have over 900 people in five, six different offices, you have to be very focused on processes and communication. Thing that things that as the leader of a startup team were not necessarily second nature to me. So personally, I've had to evolve and focus on how to bring that type of structure to an organization, how to communicate effectively across so many different, even country offices, in a way that given the pace of our growth, people feel in the know and not necessarily uh, behind the times, if you will. And you? I love languages. Over the past four and a half years, I feel like I've learned a, a completely new language. So I was not um, fluent in digital media and um, certainly not in technology before launching uh, Guilt Group in 2007. And over the years, um, I feel like I have learned so much about social media. You know, I'm personally active in it. I love it. I think it's exciting. I think it is, um, it is uh, the, the way of today and it's certainly the way of the future and it's been amazing. What for each of you is like the single most valuable piece of advice you think you could share with a young woman who's hoping to start her own business? What we've learned is that the sum of the parts is greater than the whole. So um, for, for us, uh, we're five co-founders, but if we just look at ourselves, one plus one is, is much more than two, and you can get so much more accomplished with an amazing team. Uh, so think about who you would want to start a business with, um, and are they a great complement to, to you in terms of skill set as well as personality? I have three thoughts for female entrepreneurs out there. One is there's no time better than now to start or pursue an idea you're passionate about. There is a tremendous amount of investor dollars out there. It's a great time. The second is that go with what you know. I mean, pursue ideas you're passionate about. And the third is the importance of building that unofficial board of directors, that unofficial advisory board, because I do believe you often do as well as those around you want you to do. So the importance of getting advice and information from others, as well as having those safe outlets to ask any question, any hard question you might face, because there'll be tons along the startup path, build that board early.